Welcome. The documentary you're about to watch is based around the Sea Life Centre in Weymouth, Dorset, where a unique amount of marine life displays are held. The vast number of animals include seals, penguins, jellyfish, crabs and rays. This documentary has a purpose to inform you about these incredible marine animals. He's a European spider crab. He's a male, he's got nice thick claws, a good way to identify them. Uh, about 300 pounds per square inch in there, so you could probably break your finger if you were silly enough to put your finger in there. Um, he uses these spikes all around him to uh, camouflage himself and um, block himself into holes so pe uh, seals or anything that predators can't get him out. Me too. If I turn him on his back, he'd pull his legs and claws in like that to cover his underbelly because that's the softest part of him. Uh, you've got his mouth flaps here, these open up. He's got a gill system as well which works in the same, same way as a fish but the opposite way. He'll pull the water in through the seam of his shell, pass it over his gills and out of his mouth instead of pour, through his mouth and over his gills. Uh, about it really, spider crab. Seals are marine animals that live in the sea. There are 17 different kinds of seals, but most live in the Arctic. Male grey seals are much larger than the females. They vary in colour from dark brown to grey or black, and females tend to be paler than the males. Moon jellyfish are found around most of the UK coast and are usually seen in bays from April to September when they congregate to breed. Adult moon jellyfish are easily recognisable. They use their tentacles to paralyse prey. They are only slightly venomous to humans, usually causing mild pain and a burning sensation. A uh, common starfish is uh, found around here. Not as common anymore, unfortunately, because uh, of things like dredging and stuff like that, dredging for scallops. Um, quite an amazing animal though, it has many, many uh, special tricks. The middle, the middle of him there is basically where he keeps all his organs, sexual organs, everything he needs. And uh, the limbs are kind of like, because um, they've got no defence apart from, if say someone picked it up and had a munch on it, a crab took a couple of legs off, they can actually just regenerate their legs as long as the middle's remaining. It's got uh, hundreds, sometimes thousands of little tubes which are suckers, they call them the feet and these are the arms. In the middle there he's got a stomach which is called a beak and he actually, um, favourite food is mussels. They'd eject their stomach into the muscle and then pull it back in like that. Mm -hmm. 